been quite a while since uh, IPF Worlds happened and I haven't put up the video yet and if anyone you, of you saw uh, my most recent video or followed me on social media you'll know that I hadn't had the video clips yet like I haven't gotten the clips from IPF Worlds from uh, Adam Palmer and after talking with him I realized it's kind of my fault um, he assumed that I had other video clips, like I had taken my own videos. Otherwise, he would have gotten me the video sooner. So he sent them over. Uh, and since I have experience color grading and doing sharpness correction and stuff like that, um, he was able to just send them over after cutting them instead of cutting, color correcting, and doing all the other work you have to do uh, as a professional photographer, multimedia person. So, um, I finally got those video clips, um, and now I can make this video. <laughs> it's been probably six weeks, I think, uh, since I competed. So, yeah, it's been quite a while, but I still want to put out this video. I still want to talk about everything that happened, um, because... I feel like powerlifters need to know what they're getting into when they step into meets and if any of you are new powerlifters who've never done a meet, I hope this video helps you in what to expect and how to handle certain things. So um, I'll start off by saying I usually eat into meets. So as a super heavyweight we don't have to be under a weight class so I can eat um, like more than I typically would. Um, and blow it up, drink a lot of water, and bring my weight up usually around 8 to 10 pounds from what I walk around at uh, within two days of the meet, and then it comes right back off afterwards. And this time, I started to do that two days out, and then the night before I lifted, I was talking to Arian, and we decided, or we found out, I guess, that I have a shot at winning one of the top three best lifter awards by Wilkes Points. So... I had to undo a lot of the work I already did um, to weigh in under 169.5 kilos, I think. Um, and I don't remember what that translates to pounds. It's been quite a while. So, basically the day of, I didn't weigh in until 4 o'clock, I believe, or sometime past the morning, which is normal weigh-in time for um, what I'm used to. So, I didn't really get to eat or drink that much uh, leading into the meet, but I still felt great. Um, warming up, I felt awesome. Um, and I don't think that really affected things, but I guess the moral of that story would be to really think about everything that encompasses a performance, uh, even if it includes weight class, and you're not used to having to worry about that. So super heavyweights, if you're pretty good, and you think you have a shot at best lifter, make sure you don't uh, blowed up too much. Um, so that was a little bit of a factor leading in. I didn't get to blow it as much as I would have liked, but as you will see, everything went pretty well. Um, so I'll talk about squats a little bit. Um, that was kind of the story of the meat for me. The day before, uh, if you watch an older video, the day before I lifted, this young gentleman by the name of Joe Pena broke my old IPF Junior World Record squat at, it was at 365 kilos. He broke it at 365 and a half. So that kind of brought our game plan down a little bit. We were planning on maybe going 375, 377 and a half. But records in the scheme of things may not seem that important, but at the time they seemed important to me. So we brought it down to 366 kilos or 807 pounds. Um, as my third, kept the first two the same, and they all went phenomenally well. 
I had a little bit of a scare on my opener when I went out, um, and after looking at the video, it doesn't seem that obvious, but I went out, I squatted, and I got really forward on my toes, uh, but I stood up with it really easily, and all in all, I think uh, squats went so well due to how I prepped for it. So those consistent daily heavy singles really helped me to get the skill brought up that I needed to squat heavy at the meet. And it also acclimated me very, very well to 750 plus. Um, so squats felt the single best they have ever felt in a day. Um, and they went really well. I honestly feel like I could have squatted whatever we put on the bar that day. But we went with 366, I smoked it, uh, new IPF Junior World Record. Uh, moving on to bench, uh, that went a little bit less than ideal for me. Um, I would have liked to break the world record bench, which we attempted, and I got about halfway up and it just didn't go. I could make a technical excuse or say I wasn't heavy enough, whatever, but truth is um, I just wasn't strong enough on the day. Uh, I don't think I'm ready for a 512 bench yet. Um, 496 moves pr pretty decently, and that's all I have to say about that. Um, really, really focusing on bench this training cycle. Hopefully so I can bring that up and have a more competitive bench press when I hit the open class after next year's IPF World Championships. Deadlift. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, at RTB you would have seen a pretty sweet picture slash sad picture that 9 for 9 took of me um, after, well, during my first deadlift. So as you guys know, I have been trying the hook grip and apparently Alico bars are not so easy to hook grip. So um, I hooked all the way in the back, um, all the way up to my opener and stuff, felt really, really solid. And then I went out for my opener and it was it moved like it was an empty bar, but the hook started opening up halfway up and just exploded out of my hands at lock up, lock out, lock up. Um, I should be in jail for missing that deadlift. <laughs> but so I dropped my first deadlift um, and that really put a dagger in my ability to kind of chase um, top three best lifter. Missing that bench took me out of contention for I don't even know if I would have had a shot at, at first. I think the first had a 518 Wilkes or 512 Wilkes or something ridiculous like that. Um, but missing that first deadlift really took me out of contention for third best lifter, which I think was 502. So um, after that, we I think we stayed the course on the first one and just got a deadlift in. So repeated the attempt and then for my third one, we had to play some chasing because at that point I had already locked up gold medal in total. I locked up gold medal in squat, gold medal in bench press. And for those of you who don't know, at IPF Worlds, they give out um, medals for each individual lift so you can medal in four different events. So I had already locked up three gold medals, but I wanted a fourth. So we bumped around and I think we ended up at 694 or 315, but it's... A, like I said, it's been a long time since uh, the meet, so I can't really say for sure. I'm pretty sure it was 315 though, and I absolutely smoked it um, for a gold medal in deadlift, even though 694 deadlift is not something to be bragging about. Um, overall though, the meet was awesome. Um, I had a phenomenal time. I got to meet a ton of people. I got to see people wearing my squat huge receive pie shirts. Um, and I got to play around and learn some things that's going to increase the quality on the channel. Uh, so thank you, Adam, for teaching me a bunch of stuff about editing and about different photography and videography methods and principles. So uh, one question I've been getting a lot recently is what's next? And I currently am training for the 2016 USAPL Raw National Championships in Atlanta, Georgia. So. I compete um, October 16th, um, but I will be there the whole time. So I fly in Wednesday and I fly out on Monday. So if any of you guys are going to be there and you want to meet up, you want to grab pictures, you want to grab food, because I obviously like food, just let me know. Um, and I'd love to meet any of you guys or hang out, talk training, talk life 
talk favorite pizza, anything. Um, but so, like I said, I just started training for that, and how I'm going to train is something different than I've done um, for a long time. I, I started writing out a program, and I started modifying other programs, and everything just didn't feel right. So I've, I've decided that I'm going to train intuitively leading into this meet. Um, I'm going to have days where I designate this is a squat day, this is a bench day, this is a deadlift day, but other than that, I'm just going to train. Um, I think there's something to be said, there's a lot to be said for programming and being ready for this meet, but um, without trying to sound conceited, I won last year by a very large margin. I won at Worlds by 250 pounds, so juniors... Um, should be a pretty easy go for me and i'm looking forward past where i'm at now um and after next year's world championships i'll be competing in the open class and i'm not ready for that um i'm not strong enough i don't have enough lean mass and i'm just not where i need to be to be competitive yet so um right now i've decided i'm going to start prepping for that um leading into the meet i will do a mini uh sort of peak to try to be ready and put up a nice total. But right now, um, I'm just gonna be killing volume and trying to do a lot of accessory movements and doing everything I can to put on lean mass and to get stronger and get ready for <laughs> Big Ray Williams. Um, there are some freaks in the open class and yeah, I'm strong for my age, but I don't wanna be remembered as a flash in the pan. I don't wanna be remembered as just that kid who was pretty good when he was a junior. I want to win an open world championship sooner rather than later, so I've decided I'm going to start prepping for that, um, even though that's probably down the line quite a bit. So like I said, train intuitively, um, and then I'll probably do some sort of peak like I did for worlds uh, with regular singles um, for everything uh, starting two or three, four weeks out, somewhere in there, and we're ten weeks out, a little under ten weeks out right now. So before I start playing the video, um, I just do want to say I really appreciate all you guys. Um, the support that I got leading into the meet was huge, and I know I have been super inconsistent with uploads recently, but I've been waiting for this video, and there's no excuse. Um, I'm going to start putting out regular content hopefully again this week um, or next week. I need some time to get some footage together uh, for times when I can't record. I want to have something that I can still put out. Um, so it's not just a lag time. I really do appreciate everyone who supported the channel. Um, I've seen some pretty good growth, even if it's relatively small still. I really do appreciate it. Um, and if you have any requests for videos, or if you want to see anything, if you have questions, drop it down below. Um, but without further ado, here's my performance at IPF Worlds.
around me are familiar faces, worn out place. 